hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Torians. You know I like to say Tauruses. <laughs> Hope you all have a great day today. It is December 25th. And because I have supporters and subscribers from all over the planet, um, I'm going to say happy 25th, December 25th. If you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas to you and your family. I hope you all are having a fantastic day to people who celebrate Christmas as well as people who don't celebrate Christmas. This is with respect for everybody, whatever you believe, you know, respect with every, to, for everybody, with respect to everybody. Happy December 25th. We're going to be talking about the number 55 today. Two fives. Y'all get it? Okay. That was kind of corny, but y'all know. Okay. Two fives. 55. Master number 55. We're going to be talking about 55 today. We're also going to be talking about, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, doing things to realign your root chakra as well. You know, earth signs. You're doing things to realign your root chakra. Make sure you're feeling strong and all those other wonderful things that you are. Taurus, yes. Making sure you feel just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Because we have a lot of things that's happening in the universe. You have a lot of people who are off kilter and I want to make sure they don't throw you off kilter, Taurus, okay? All righty. We're going to get into your reading. Also, I just want to mention to you all before we even um, put these card, lay these cards out, I want to mention to you all, if you all are interested in a personal reading, like I have talked to so many Taurus, um, um, please log into queenamunra.com and you can book a reading there. You'll find out my pricing information. You can look at my calendar. You can see when I have dates available and things like that. Um, yeah. So if you're ready to book your personal reading, please do so, um, through my website. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let's get into your reading. Most high God in the universe. Please give me a special reading for my wonderful Taurus. As it relates to all areas of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where they need to take action. Yes, 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 yes. Now, Taurus, I want you all to start saying some things, some positive affirmations to yourselves. Like I know you're already doing, but I just want you to just say it to yourselves on a regular basis. I want you to start saying things like, I am logical. I am generous and trustworthy. I am determined. I am understanding, I am kind, I am organized, I am patient, I am reliable, I am practical, I am devoted, I am responsible, I am stable, right? People are really drawn to your energy, Taurus. They're really, really drawn to your energy. And so, so that everybody who comes in contact with you has a, um, a positive um, experience with you. You want to make sure because you're a magnet, people are drawn to you. It doesn't matter if you identify as a man or woman, your, your um, duality is divine feminine, right? So people are drawn to that. They're drawn to your magnetism because you're receptive. Your energy is cyclic, right? So you show your strength through your inner reserve. You don't always say exactly what you're thinking, right? But we want to make sure you keep your vibrations high. So all those things that you've been wanting and those intentions you've been putting out to the universe and about, uh, you know, maybe money, homes, blessing your family, being able to build a new school somewhere or, you know, um, creating a homeless shelter for, you know, doing humanitarian things, humanitarian efforts. You want to make sure all those things come to you, you know, quicker than sooner than later. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get into your reading. 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 Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Taurus as it relates to all areas of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where they need to take action. What information do we have for my wonderful Taurus? Yeah. Yeah. So Taurus, when people are trying to attach themselves to you all, it's probably best that you just kind of sort of keep them at bay for a while until you can see what their true intentions are. Because not everybody is intentionally trying to hurt you. Some people just don't know any better. Like they really just don't know any better. That they don't, they are not on the same frequency as you are. They don't know any better. So you have to teach them better, right? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Okay, Taurus. Yeah. Yeah. See a lot of money in your cards. Now listen, let me show you something, Taurus. Now, this 
is a person who is emotionally wounded when it comes to money. This person right here. This is the five of pentacles. Yeah. We're going to put this card right here. It's your strength card right here. Yeah. I'm going to teach y'all how to open up this vault. Teach you how to open up this vault where you may have been once emotionally wounded when it came to money. I need you to double down on your strength, right? This card, this strength card is attached to the Leo. This star card is attached to the Aquarius, right? Yeah. So, we have the Two of Swords. I'm, I'm going to unfold this story for you in just a minute. And again, this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everybody. And that is okay. It's not supposed to. It's a general reading. If you want a personal reading, if any of this resonates with you and you want to delve a little deeper and get in a personal reading, please reach out to me through my website, queenamunrod.com, okay? So yeah, this right here is um, the Two of Swords. We're going to talk about this in a second. We have the Seven of Swords. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, Seven of Swords. Somebody's secret was exposed. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. Yes, you manifesting money. All right, let's talk about it. This is just the first part of it, right? So you found out somebody's secret and it was attached to money. The person could have been having Aquarius, uh, Gemini, or Libra somewhere in their chart, okay? Um, but, and so because you found out this secret about them, it caused you to kind of sort of be closed off. Like, okay, I'm going to walk around with blindfolds on, right? But see, the thing about walking around with blindfolds on, Taurus, is that you don't get a chance to see the good people around you. You could have been dealing with somebody who was vibrating on a low frequency. It could have been somebody, again, who has Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini in their chart. They were vibrating on a different frequency than yours. Not even, maybe even not even low. A lot of times I tell people all the time, two good people sometimes are not good for each other, right? This person doesn't necessarily have to be a love interest. It could be a, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic love interest. You know what I'm saying? It could be a, a family member that you love. It could be a friend that you love. It could be a colleague that you have a great deal of respect for. But nevertheless, you found out something about you and it caused you to just close off. Like, you know what? I'm just going to shut down, right? Remember, you all are very magnetic. Your energy is cyclic. So you show your strength through your inner reserve. But here's where I need you all to take action. Tap into your divine masculine side. Taking action means taking these blindfolds off, right? Because there are good people around you. You could come in contact with another Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra who is vibrating on the same frequency as you. But I don't want you to miss that, mess out on that because you had a bad experience with a uh, uh, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini who was vibrating on a low frequency, lower frequency than you, or just on a different frequency, right? Because Aquarius, Gemini, and Libras are very powerful and they're very intelligent, right? So there's definitely value in you being in their presence and them being in your presence, right? So don't count all of them out, right? Again, you gotta, you have to ask yourself, and I always tell people when relationships go sour, Ask yourself, what role did you play in the demise of that relationship, right? Was it that you didn't speak up soon enough when you noticed something and just or just came right out and asked a question? So maybe it was a misunderstanding or whatever, but I don't want you to be like this because you found out something about him. And I'm, and I'm not saying him, I'm saying them, right? I just use EM. <laughs> but you just found out something about them, right? So, um... This is, I want you all to remember something too, Taurus. I know even though you all are logical, we're talking about something, we're talking about in the spiritual realm, right? Giving people the benefit of the doubt because we are all mirror images of each other. So when people speak negatively about you, they're really speaking negatively about themselves. When you speak negatively about somebody, you're speaking negatively about yourself. That's why I want you to take the blindfolds off because there are some good people around you who are on the opposite side of the duality, your divine masculine, I mean, your divine feminine, they are divine, these are divine masculine. This is divine masculine right here by default. You are divine feminine by default. So there's some good people on the other side of that because let me help you out with something. A Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius that's on the same frequency as you could be the key to opening up this vault right here. I want to help you all with something. 
because you all are fixed signs, I don't want you to fixate on the fact that you got hurt by somebody in the past and now you can't trust all people of that sign. You find out their birthday, you're like, oh no, <laughs> I can't trust you. Mm -mm, not gonna let you get closer. No, all you have to do is just kind of sort of just kind of stay back for a minute and just watch them like with your spiritual eyes and see what they say. Sometimes people are just not on the same frequency. It's just that simple. You're not on the same frequency, but this person could have an Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. Like I said, they're very powerful and they're very intellectual. They could have the key to opening up this vault. You don't want to write people off because you had a bad experience with another Gemini, Libra or Aquarius who was on a different frequency. They may not have been low frequency. It, it, they just were on a different frequency than you, right? It could have been just like one point off, but it was on a different frequency. So I want to help you all to open this vault up to all of this money that is here. You manifesting all this money by not being fixated on thinking. I just don't like Aquarius. I just don't like Gemini. I just don't like Libras because they are X, Y, and Z. I had a horrible experience with them because you could come across the person who has the key to unlock the vault of that exact same sign and they're on the same frequency as you. You see? Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. I'm trying to help people, trying to help people. I need you to tap into your strength and start to really, really, because the Aquarius too, like you, is a fixed sign, right? And remember, Taurus is retrograde in Aquarius. And Uranus, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> let me get it together. Hold on. <laughs> Uranus is retrograde in Taurus. <laughs> Excuse me, Taurus. <laughs> my brain, my brain is just going so, so, so quick. I'm like, hold on, hold on. Ah, oh, screw Back up, back up, back up. Yes. So there is some, there's some things happening, right? So this, this Aquarius possibly an Aquarius or possibly somebody with Leo in their chart. And maybe you have Leo in your chart. When I, when I toss out the names of signs, it could mean that you have it in your chart or you could have had interaction with that person. But nevertheless, there's some kind of effect, right? And I'm thinking more of an Aquarius because I'm looking at this star card, which is Aquarius's card. You may have had some interactions with an Aquarius, which you all were just on two different frequencies. It didn't make them bad. It didn't make you bad, but you all were not on the same frequency. But here's the cool part about dualities. We all embody both, right? So even if your default, Taurus, is divine feminine, you can always tap into your divine masculine and understand a, an Aquarius even better right? Because you have access to it, just like an Aquarius can tap into their divine feminine side and understand a Taurus better. Just like a Leo can tap into their di di divine feminine side and understand the Taurus better. You can tap into your divine masculine side, Taurus, and understand a Leo better. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yes. So let's see what the rest of these cards have to say. We're just trying to get people on, you know, understanding each other a whole lot better so that we can, un you know, unlock these vaults of whatever it is that you want, whether it's money, whether it's peace, whether it's power, whether it's health, whatever it is, a peace of mind is worth a lot. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, it's not just money. You know, money is just money, you know, until you set your intentions to it. You absolutely can open up the vault. Money is not evil. Like some people's money is evil. It's like, where'd you get that from? <laughs> what book are you reading? It's no, it's not. It's the intention behind it. Because if you have a vault filled with money that's wide open, you can open up schools. You can open up um, hospitals. You can, you can hire people. You can create, I mean, just do all kinds of things. Yeah, look at all this money in your cards. Yeah. So I don't want you all to write people off just because you may have had an experience that could have just, I mean, seriously, could have just simply been a misunderstanding. Some of you all, I don't want you to be fixated on it. Some of you all are like, I wouldn't let that person back in my life even if I saw a pig fly across the sky. And I'm trying to tell you, maybe you love this person. Maybe this person could have been you know, like a sister or like a brother to you or a person who was a romantic interest. But if you're stuck on being a fixed sign and you're saying, I wouldn't let this person into my life, even if I saw a pig fly across the sky, I'm telling you, you could be delaying opening up the vault. Yeah. Some of you all may sleep sweet at night. 
<laughs> because you're like, listen, I'm still not letting that person. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say, Queen Amun Ra. I'm not letting that person back in my life because mm -mm -mm, they caused me to lose money. It was a problem. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But I'm just trying to help. That's all. I'm just trying to help because, again, sometimes, again, good people could just be wrong for each other because you're on different frequencies. And if you are committed to not understanding the other side of your duality, it makes it harder for you to understand where that person is coming from. Yeah. No matter what, you all have the Midas touch, right? So no matter what, you all are creating legacy wealth. Yeah. No matter what, I'm just trying to help you speed up the process. Yeah. That's all. That's all. Yes. That's all it is. Matter of fact, by the way, Aquarius got legacy wealth too. So again, some people can be on the same path going towards the same um, thing when it comes to, you know, your financial wealth. But I'm trying to help you all to open up this vault. That's all I'm trying to say, Taurus, because this is I did not get this. I don't believe I got this card for the Aquarius. I saw legacy wealth and them, you know, having a lot of wealth. But I don't believe I saw this card right here where the person felt emotionally wounded. So I don't want you to, you know, be stuck on. I would never trust another Aquarius or let me just say this. I would never trust another divine masculine sign like Aquarius, um, Libra, Gemini, Leo, Aries, or um, Sagittarius. I'm just not going to do it, right? So I'm just trying to help you all speed up this process. Yeah, we have the King of Swords, right? So hopefully the lessons that could have been learned from this, Taurus, is that... Um, being more direct sooner, right? If you find out something about somebody, just say it, you know, especially if you really love that person, just like, Hey, we need to have a conversation. I, I need some answers because I don't want to think certain things about you. Right. But I need some answers. Hello. <laughs> right. I need answers. So I need you to answer some questions for me. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that, especially if you love the person. Cause again, you know, people are drawn to you all because you all are magnets, but it doesn't mean that you don't have, you cannot ask people questions. If something feels out of, out of sync for you, just ask. <laughs> just, I mean, see, and it may sound easier. It's, it may seem easier said than done, but I would personally, <clears throat> just me, Taurus, I would rather ask a person something right out you know, if I, if I have some, if my intuition is telling me something and I feel like, cause this person right here is exposed, right? This luminary, this sun, I mean, mm, did I say sun, the moon, this luminary right here exposed them, right? So let's say for instance, you caught wind that, uh, what, what kind of secret, what kind, you know what? I don't even know what kind, let me try to think of something. Uh, let's say for instance, uh, hmm. Okay. Let's say for instance, you found out this person was wealthy, but, um, they lived in a, I don't know, they lived in a, you know, like middle-class neighborhood or whatever. And I don't even know if this is the best example because I can't think of any kind of secret that would make me completely like completely dismiss a person. Um, so let's say the person was wealthy or whatever, and they, they never told you that they were wealthy or they came from a wealthy background and you just assumed, like you kind of had an inkling. Sometimes thing you heard things, sometimes they said things or they weren't aware of certain things, um, that would, that would make you believe that they were like middle class or whatever, or lower middle class or whatever. And you found out sort of through the grapevine, it was exposed that this person comes from an extremely wealthy family. And now you feel like, okay, I can't trust this person because they should have told me, right? If you're thinking they should have told me this, I would have known it. But on the other side of that coin, they are probably thinking, well, you could have asked, you know? So instead of, I don't even want to say hold a grudge, but instead of looking at that person like, they weren't being completely open and honest. There could be reasons why they didn't tell you things. You know what I'm saying, Taurus? There could have been reason like, let's say the person is wealthy and you all do connect. And you said, well, how come you never told me that you were wealthy or that you came from X, Y, and Z family or whatever? And they may be like, because when I meet people and they find out I'm from such and such family, I instantly become a target. 
And I just felt like I'm tired of being a target, so I don't tell people I'm wealthy anymore. That kind of thing, right? That's just one example. I don't know if it's the best example or not, but again, you want to you want this vault door to open to all of this legacy wealth. You don't even want it to be delayed. So, yeah, I don't want you to um you know, delay your own blessings of just unlocking un unlocking this this wealth for you. Let's pull a oh, look at this oracle cards come flying across the table. Usually I would have read all four oracle cards, but I'm like, let me go and let me reshuffle these cards because I want to see. Um, let's see what card comes out. Yeah. Did we talk about the number 55? I don't think we talked about the number 55, Taurus, but let's, let's kind of sort of get into the number 55. Um, I know we, I, I mentioned something about your, your root chakra. So something that can help you in terms of like your root chakra, because you know, the root chakra is at the base of your spine. It's associated with the element of the earth and your sense of smell, right? It governs your feet, your legs, your rectum, you know, just like that part of your of your body in order for you to the 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 crystals and the um the essential oils that resonate with the with the taurus with earth signs in particular taurus capricorn virgo are um sandalwood oil patchouli cedarwood black spruce is another one um some of the stones that resonate with earth signs are um garnet ruby black tourmaline um, red jasper, bloodstone, those kind of, you know, those root chakra, um, those, those stones, those gemstones and those essential oils that resonate. Those are the ones that resonate most with the root chakra. So those would be extremely helpful, you know, for you all, um, for, for helping you all to detect what people's true intentions are. If you are on a different frequency than they are, not necessarily that they are on a much lower frequency or that you all, whatever, It'll, it'll clear up confusion. Those, those you know, re resonate with you and they will clear up some confusion. Yeah, it's evolution time. Time to rejoice. Look at this. Time to rejoice. Yeah. So for some of you all, Taurus, I, I know that some of you all have evolved, right? You're not fixated on this. A lot of you all are coming into a lot of money because it's like, you know what? No harm, no foul. Hey, I could have said something sooner. You could have said something sooner, you know, no love loss. Hey, I'm this way, you're this way. And we're just content with, you know, <laughs> both being gods. Both of us are very, very powerful. We both evolved. So there's no reason for me to hold on to any grudges. And then all of a sudden, all of this wealth is released to you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 55. We talk about the number 55. Like I said, two fives, <laughs> 25, two fives. The root number of 55 is one. And so everything comes back around to you. That's why I tell people, there's no need for you to hold a grudge. There's no need for you to gossip or vibrate low or say anything bad about anybody because the universe keeps everything balanced out. We are all responsible for our good karma and bad karma. It all comes back to one, us being the one. So 55s are adaptable to change. 55s are designed to consistently free your mind to rigid, outdated thought patterns. 55s are able to pivot easily in order to generate an internal shift in yourself and help others to do the same. You all are leading by example, Taurus. People are looking at you because, like I said, you all are magnets. They're looking to see who you allow to attach themselves to you and how you handle situations, especially when you all are on different frequencies. So you all are, you know, people are looking at Taurus is like, okay, so what are you going to do about the situation? And that's how people are learning and people are growing from you. So like I said, this is showing evolution. You all have evolved. It's time to rejoice. You all are not holding grudges. No hope. You know, it's like, okay, hey, two good people, sometimes not good for each other, but that's okay. All is forgiven. Doesn't necessarily mean you all are going to be hanging out together, you know, going to grab lunch together or a cup of tea or coffee. Doesn't mean that. It just means, hey, no harm, no foul. I'm moving on. We're just on different frequencies and that's okay. All right, that's what I have for you, Taurus. Have a great one. Bye.